Hello, and welcome to another Cladasta video on Google Workspace updates from May 2025. Every month, Google releases many, many new updates for the Google Workspace environment. We sip through and try and find the ones that we think are the most important and the most interesting for you, so you don't have to sip through the tens and hundreds that come out. So we're gonna go through a couple of the highlights for May 2025. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. So the first one is related to Gemini. So since rolling out Gemini in the sidebar for uh, Drive, users have been summarizing documents, getting quick facts while viewing PDFs. Most recently, there's been a nudge at the top of Drive homepage where you can get started with Gemini even faster. Now you can go ahead and start a conversation with Gemini in the side panel by dragging a file over to the sidebar and then being able to use it as part of your conversation. Um, this is a great way to incorporate your actual data and documents into your conversations and a quick way to be able to pull those in instead of searching for them with the little at symbol um, and being able to kind of get started right away. So the next one, uh, again, is another Gemini piece. Uh, so if you go ahead and drag uh, your um, drive file into the sidebar there, or if you just start chatting with Gemini in the sidebar, you can then uh, export those responses to a Google Doc or Sheet um, directly, so that way you don't have to do any copying and pasting. Um, this will be easier for quickly pulling the data that you want into a document um, instead of going ahead and have to worry about formatting or any of those things, or make sure maybe making sure that you copy the right things and not other things. This will automatically export it to a doc for you, and then you can go ahead and dive right in. All right, this one's related to Google Vids. So uh, if you don't remember Google Vids, Google Vids is a newer product in the Google Workspace environment, specifically made uh, to help create quick and interesting videos um, without having to use a lot of fancy video editing software. Um, it includes lots of different things, including voice overlays, being able to drop videos and images in, and so much more. Um, and now there is a new getting started page to make it easier to get started. So you can see here, we have a couple of different things. Plan your video, turn your ideas into clips, start with the template. There's lots of ways to get started. Um, so that way you can go ahead and get going quicker and not feel like you're getting stuck by looking at this blank canvas. And then another one uh, related to Google Vids is being able to generate custom video clips um, with VO2. Um, so this is uh, a way for you to build high quality custom video clips uh, based off of a prompt. So simply uh, add in what you're looking for, click uh, type in your prompt, click create and a preview will appear and you could select insert to add it directly into your vid. Uh, some examples that uh, we've seen where a marketing team can create uh, customized assets for branded storytelling. Uh, such as a cutting edge aerodynamic self-driving car in a sleek, dark metallic finish glides effortlessly along a serpentine coastal highway. Um, an educator can also visually explain a concept such as colored, uh, colored dust floating around an airplane wing showing aerodynamics. Um, I, we may have touched on this in the past, but um, uh, this should be a crowd pleaser for many. So their Google Slides has many, many, many more high quality professional templates now built into Google Slides. So you go ahead and get started. You uh, click that new sidebar on the right side that we've talked about before, that second one down, and you can see all of these fancy new templates. Um, these are so sleek um, and being able to go ahead into any of those, checking out what you want and insert all of those slides from the template or just some of them. And you could see there's just so many here to really get you started. Um, and what's so great is they have many, many slides um, for each of the templates. So that way you can pick and choose what you feel like makes the most sense, whether it's storytelling or a graphic slide or a, a text-based slide with bullets or timeline, whatever it is. So check those out today. Um, and then one that I am very excited about um, is this one for Google Keep. So if you haven't used Google Keep before, it's basically sticky notes for your Google account. Um, and sticky notes, uh, historically in the way where sticky notes actually are, they are plain, they are quick, they are very, um, simple. 
Um, and now, and that's always been a limiting factor. So that way they, they worked out really well, but if you wanted to do any sort of formatting, that just did not happen. So I'm really excited to see that Google Keep on the web now has rich text formatting uh, embedded in that. So now you can go th do things like bold, underline, and you even have a couple, two headers and uh, a body. So that's really, really fantastic to be able to go ahead and manipulate the formatting just a little bit to be able to go ahead and um, make your plain text look a little bit more eye-catching um, and for when you're trying to organize those notes that are a little bit more um, detailed. And then last but not least, we have one for forms. Um, so there's this, uh, I, I will, uh, this a little, I'm gonna call this an unsung hero uh, for the future here in forms, where um, if you ever ran into those forms that um, you don't know who the owner is, who made it, but you know, there's something going on with it, there's something wrong, you wanna follow it up, um, but there's no contact information, now there's a new setting which allows you to um, contact the form owner directly just by hitting that little question mark button on the bottom. Um, historically, you would only really click this if you had an idea or if you wanted to report an issue, but now you have a little option there that says contact the form owner. I imagine this would come in handy every now and again, um, and while it won't be one you use every day, it's definitely one you want to know about uh, for when you need it. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is uh, our quick recap for May 2025. Uh, again, Google Workspace comes out with many, many things. There are so many other updates from May 2025, but we think these are the ones that you'll be able to go ahead and start using right away. If you have any questions, please reach out to us and thanks for watching.